An electron transport system consists of a series of electron carriers that sequentially transfer electrons to the carrier with the next higher reduction potential, that is, to a stronger electron acceptor. Electron flow begins with an initial electron donor, such as a carbohydrate, and ultimately transfers all electrons to the strongest electron acceptor, which in this example of aerobic respiration is molecular oxygen. During glycolysis and the tricarboxylic acid cycle, organic molecules donate electrons associated with hydrogen atoms to NAD plus molecules. The resulting NADH molecules act as electron donors to the electron transport system. A typical bacterial electron transport system used in respiration includes at least three functional components, beginning with a complex generally called a substrate oxidoreductase. This enzyme has a number of more specific names, including NDH1 for the complex in bacteria. NADH donates electrons to a flavin mononucleotide or FMN molecule within NDH1. As the electrons reduce FMN, the molecule also takes on two protons to balance the charge, becoming FMNH2. In its reduced form, FMNH2 can donate electrons one at a time to an adjacent iron sulfur center that is a stronger electron acceptor. The iron sulfur center passes the electron on to the next iron sulfur center and can then receive another electron from FMN. Through a series of redox reactions, the electron passes from one center to the next in the NDH1 complex. The transfer of electrons releases energy that NDH1 can use to pump protons across the membrane. At the end of the chain, the electrons are transferred to a quinone, which picks up two protons from solution and is thus reduced to quinol. Quinones are generally designated Q and quinoles are designated QH2. The quinoles diffuse within the membrane and carry reduction energy to other electron transport system components. This quinone pool represents the second of three functional components of the electron transport system. The third component of the electron transport chain is a terminal oxidase complex. The complex in this example is called more specifically cytochrome BO quinol oxidase. Within the complex is the binding site for quinol. Also in the complex are two iron-centered heme groups and three copper atoms. The quinol transfers its electrons to the adjacent heme group and releases two protons, usually across the membrane. Next, the electrons move from the first heme group to the second. This unique complex couples the electron transfer between the two heme groups with proton pumping. The iron and copper atoms pick up molecular oxygen and hold it in place until it receives a total of four electrons, only two of which have been generated so far. Note the energy from the two electrons donated by NADH fueled the pumping of eight protons across the membrane. In order to become fully reduced, molecular oxygen requires the electrons from an additional NADH molecule. In total, the four electrons from two NADH molecules result in the pumping of 16 protons across the membrane. Four protons from the cytoplasm join the electrons and oxygen to produce two molecules of water. In this way, oxygen, which has the strongest affinity for electrons of any other component of the electron transport system, is the final electron acceptor.